Now, I'm convinced that men and women just have different eyes. So I just woke up, I can tell that from my hair. And Mark says upstairs, oh, what would you like? Tea, I'm like, no, I'd love, I'd love a hot water and a lemon. So a couple of minutes later, he comes back upstairs and says, oh, sorry, I can't find any lemon anywhere. It's all right, I say, I can't find any lemon. So I said, don't worry, I'm gonna come down and make my own. Right, here we go. So this was my walk in. So, he's making the tea for himself. <laughs> what can we all see? What can yeah, we see? I agree, Chi Chi. I didn't see it either. How could you not? And I swear to you, Sub, that we have see. not moved a thing. That yes, was we have. This was here. Well, not when I came downstairs. No, it wasn't because I just put it there. So you mean you? when you pick that so up I, and I put, put it so back up put, there? Yeah, but that was just as you've been down. I've only just done that. And yes, there it is. I can't believe there's a lemon in front of the lemon's face. <laughs> 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 so do we think there's a problem with her iPad? Is she dropping her iPad? Has Forky forked her in the neck? Has Kurt Kaboom fallen off his ledge again? Is she trying to struggle to get her PPE off? Sorry guys, you're getting a blow by blow account of me trying to get in touch with any day. I know it's very really interesting, but I've got to keep filming just in case she suddenly pops up with a funny little Orville head. Answer, Mum. Updates on it. There you are. Hey, your hair's looking good, Mum. So do I have to... Uh, I'm obviously doing something wrong. It you was what? the machine's on, but I haven't got it on Skype. Yeah, you have to have Skype open on your screen. Oh. Oh, how are and, you? Uh, hello, sweetheart. Kiss, kiss, virtual kiss. Virtual how kiss. Are you, how are you, sweetie? Yeah, good. I've just been planting tomato plants. Taking my seedlings and putting them into pots. You should take one home with you if you come to the garden next week. I, I will do. Yeah. Also, isn't it the week of the tomato or something? It's the what? It is. It's something like that. I promise you. Tomato! Week of the tomato. Tomato! How come you haven't told me that I've inherited Mom's dewlap? Nobody's told me about this. Well, don't say years. that. That means I've already inherited it. No, you haven't. And I thought that I hadn't That's done true, it. That's true, Mum. I haven't actually noticed. Oh, well, it's, look. Look, you must have done. Oh, no. It's this doesn't... really badly in this, in this instance. Yeah, it doesn't all but... go well, though, for me, does it? Yeah, you've got a more pointed chin than me. You've got Christopher Walken's hair. Huh? You've got... Huh? You've, your hair is a combination of Christopher Walken and Orville. That's exactly the look I'm looking for. Oh, that's what you're going for. Okay. One, one of the subs said um, the other week after my thing, it came up on my thing. She said, oh, your review made me want to read the book. Can you imagine yeah, that? Yeah, that's great. Well, you're an influencer, Mum. Well, I was for that book. I can't even remember what it was. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. So well, say it. Say I'm Nanny Di and I'm an influencer. Oh, no. <laughs> I was going to say fuck off, but I don't have to We've said it. So you so you're planting tomatoes? Well, I'm 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 moving the seedlings from a tray into pots. There's so much change, what? Mum. You're coming this week. What do you make of the rule change? Well, I seem to have missed the rule change. I can't I believe it. I you must have lost interest up. halfway through or something. No, it's just that I've been so sort of dashed about the rocks with the whole Dominic Cummings yeah. interlude that I sort of thought I must have thought the talk that I was watching was only going to concentrate on him, and so I left the room. It's Night, smart, but oh. you do too, don't you? Uh, do well, you? I must admit, last night I slept in, I did stay in one bed. I mean, I go on the prowl at night, not hunger, not with hunger. I just at two o'clock and five o'clock, I find myself waking up. That's when I do too. Yeah, it's weird, weird, isn't it? But in my case, I'm looking for bloody ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> and how many have you had recently? I had two last night. I pulled it down to two yeah. with all the worry about diabetes. Oh, time. God, I know, I know. Probably on the edge. <laughs> You've got to be careful with your with your gloves. Did you see in our lives, someone was saying, don't get a false sense of security with your gloves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, Mark, the little park is driving me mad because 
for a start, there's, there's all the kids riding bikes into you. Yeah. And um, it's already this palpable, as I've said to you, and whatever people say, I might be imagining it. I'm not distrust of old people yeah. from young people. They think, right. go on, die. Oh, and right. I don't okay. know in many ways, but at the same time. It's not very nice. It's not very nice. And also, this, and you will, you will second me on this for everywhere you and I have met. The smell of spliff is so strong yeah. that after I'm walking around, I'm in a positive drug haze, which <laughs> might sound nice, but believe me, it's not, not nice when you get your head round John Updike. He's <laughs> given you every type of variable <laughs> sexual position. I started thinking, where am I? I feel like I've gone back to the 60s. <laughs> Yeah, you are well, in the sixties. In the end, I had to come home because I was getting so confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm putting on weight because of the ice cream. Well, that's the only reason you've I got the Dulox, Dulox, Mum, is because you're eating six fucking Dulox, what, what, Dulaps, Dulox. <laughs> is because you're eating fucking Cornettos Dulox. every night. That's the reason, but I just don't want it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but without giving up the ice cream, that's the thing. Yeah. I'm with Nadia. You know Nadia's overeating. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, do we're, ice cream. we're doing a mental health chat, the two of us, tonight at 10 o'clock on the channel. Oh, okay. Yeah. I watched something you guys did, and I thought you were both really, really sort of dour. Sort of like um, oh. almost, not upset, but just sort of um, very serious and sort oh. of... I had to come out of it anyway because it was sort of not upsetting me exactly, but it was sending me lower than my mood was. Oh dear, sorry. We were pulling you down. <laughs> sorry, I'm sure it was really important. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't. <laughs> Maybe we were just being a pair of miserable gits. What's in the end about why am I speaking in this heightened tone? I really don't know. Normal people. Did you start to get a bit annoyed with it by the end? Uh, no, just frustrated with their characters. I really like its laziness. And I like how ordinary their dilemmas are, and yet they're sort of so extraordinary at the same time, you know? So it's the... I like all yeah. that. And I think it lends itself well to that sort of quite austere, quite laid-back sort of... It's not rushing things, which I find quite refreshing in today's... <laughs> Absolutely, but at the but by the end, the end, I thought. I mean, I thought it would have done much better as a six part document, six part. Yeah, well, we than, haven't um, seen the last two. 12. We haven't seen the last two yet. Both those kids are brand new to acting. Yeah, aren't they? phenomenal, aren't they? Phenomenal. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I mean, overall, I think it's an absolute masterpiece. But I did feel by the end that I just because it had gone on so long, I didn't really care. Oh, have you missed everyone? Was I miss everyone. And it's going to be terrible because I'll come back into Green Fingered Hell with a julep. <laughs> Just don't I mean, get it don't get it snagged on a rose bush. Exactly. I wish you guys had given me a warning. <laughs> it was such a shock. I set up the whole thing this morning and then I went, what is this? <laughs> oh, my God. It's like... <laughs> don't worry. It will go. It will go with exercise. What have I got to do this all the <laughs> You've got to do that thing Nan did where she'd rub she'd rub her hands under there. Oh, OK. Or the magpie. Yeah, the magpie. <laughs> that one. <laughs> That's it. Well, on the magpie, I'm going to send you all our love. OK, lovey. Bye, Bye sir. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. 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 So, the pressure is on. It's Saturday evening. Beautiful evening outside. <laughs> Oh, look at that. So gorgeous. Probably should be sitting on that deck chair, looking out over the garden. But actually, to be fair, I've done that all day and it's been really, really lovely. And now, the pressure is on because I've promised the girls and Mark a proper Five Guys burger and chips. So I've been watching YouTube videos, I've bought all the gear, I've bought the proper bags, I've bought the buns, I've got the beef with 20% fat, I've got the cups for the chips, I've got the napkins, I've got the American cheese. <sighs> now I just have to make it taste exactly like it. A bit nervous, kiki maddy, kiki maddy, so looking forward to it. Anyway, so I start with the chips, I have to cut them long and then I have to soak them for an hour to reduce the starch so that they're really crispy and then I'm gonna have to fry them twice in peanut oil. I'll show you every step. Right, first thing is, I've got a bowl of cold water. There we go. To soak my potatoes in. I've got long potatoes. I've got a bit of a turn, haven't I? Because they need, you need long chips. But anything is, I'm a bit worried. I don't know if I've got enough potato. And the 
whole thing about five guys is you get tons of chips. Maybe Mark will have to have sweet potato fries. So hand cut and with the skin on, get the big boys out. Very important part. I don't know if it, it's five guys everywhere in the country. I don't know. Maybe some of you don't even know what I'm making. Now, is that too thick? Because you have to cook it, put them in peanut oil. But eventually I found, them, I found it on Amazon. If anyone wants to copy what I'm doing. I'm so particular about it. So I'm thinking that's about how they look. I might have to get Maddie down to do the approval. So I have not got chip whip approval. I've run it by Mark. He said, no, that was definitely too thick. So we're now trying this. This apparently is more five guys. So the good news is the panic is off. I had enough potatoes. So I'm just going to turn the camera around to show you what I've been doing. So see how I can already see the starch coming out the water. So that helps you get a really crispy chip. So, oh, look at those. Yum. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Already. I hope the girls do remember actually that the chips at Five Guys do have skin on because they could be complaints. So I'm just going to leave those for an hour now. And then uh, they'll cook for about eight minutes, as I say, in the peanut oil. I've got the horrible job now of cleaning out the fryer. <laughs> Over here, I've got the beef. 20% fat to make it nice and juicy. Sounds ominous. Who is it? That that just arrived is an item that is connected to something else that's connected to something else that you're going to be seeing very soon. So if that's as clear as mud, Boobs. it's meant, pardon? Boobs. I know, I'm, I was quite enjoying them. I was reading, because I've been reading up on how we can get these burgers really juicy. And one of the things, one of the tricks that some Americans do is they put a little bit of, a little cube of butter in the middle of the burger and then fold the burger over. But I think what I'm going to do is just grate some butter into the beef and then nothing else goes into it. Nothing on a Five Guys, you know. That is. Just a really hot griddle and you have to flatten it in and you put the salt while it's in the pan. Their chips, which the girls love, are cooked completely in peanut oil. Really difficult to get. God, I got one. Where's this bottle? This bottle, right, was seven quid. Bloody hell. So I thought I can't do a whole chip pan, but then luckily but Dina not, recommended paying, right? that I get this try at Amazon, which I'd never thought of before to get oil. Mm. And look, guys, here's the paper bags. I like the set dressing. I get excited about the set dressing. Where's the. Oh, look, and there's those. Where's the cups? Oh, and there's those. Can you take this lid off for me? Okay. Just take the whole thing off because we're going to need all the oil. Let's just... Can do it without an electric chip fryer. I mean, I never had an electric chip fryer. I've only had this in the last sort of six months. It does make a difference because I'm going to fry the chips twice. So they'll be cooked at 140 degrees first. And then I turn them up to 160 to crisp them up. So you know when you see chips three times cooked? So you, that, that's all they, they mean, is that you cook them on a lower heat so that they're cooked through in the middle. Because the, the thing you don't want to do is whack it in at a high heat because then you get a brown chip, but nothing cooked in the middle. Look what I've got in the fridge, though. Because Five Guys, what we get really excited about Five Guys is they have really strange soda drinks, very American. So they have all these strange kind of things like... Dr. Pepper Raspberry and Fanta Strawberry or Diet Coke Grape. So I've got some grape soda. So that's kind of like, you know, me and my being the drink dispenser and all that kind of stuff. So fingers crossed that will deliver on that front. Oh, that's not enough oil. Uh, Jesus, really expensive one. Oh, back over to the oil saga. I can't believe it. I'm going to have to use this really expensive oil now. Because Maddie kept saying, don't forget, Mum, it has to be peanut oil. God, I've got to have to use a second bottle of that, really expensive. Actually, it was $5.95, this, each one. So these are going to be the most expensive chips ever. Mind you, how much is a... I was about to say, do you think this is why it's so effing expensive? Yeah. It's much... so expensive. It's, it's really the most expensive. Yeah, I mean, when me and the girls go in, it can be the best part of 50 quid. I mean, it's... You're kidding! It's stupidly expensive. 
Jesus. I had my first one in Atlanta and it was dirt cheap in America. Mm, as well. Like purging the planet to get mm. the beef. Um, oh, that smells wow. really peanutty. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that to heat up now. Mm. And then what I'm going to do is get the patties ready. Oh, you're even calling them patties. Got to get the patties ready. Hang on. I've got something that's friendly for Nadia. Do you think she'll like it? Ooh, isn't that romantic? Ooh, should we follow it in? Should we follow it in? See what her face is. See if she can't see the little bit of romance. Oh, thank you. Oh, isn't that beautiful? <gasps> Was it, why did you pick it? Because it's hidden and it's out of sight. Oh, it's stunning. It's one of the fullest. That is one of my favorite kinds of roses. Jesus, what am I gonna put it in? Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's so beautiful. Nothing like a rose. Could give a rose to a rose person. Mm. Roses okay. are red, violets are blue. I really like you. And you've got 92. It's a shame I tried to get some monkey nuts, but they didn't have any corner shop. Oh. They always used to have them in corner shop. Off licenses. You used to have them in pubs all the time. Do you remember you'd go into pubs and there'd be the mm. shells of monkey nuts everywhere? Oh, look at this. So this is what makes it so succulent, do you think? This is what I'm doing. This mm. is an extra. Because they're actually incredibly thin. Um, five guard burgers, aren't they? Really thin. Yeah, they're very small, actually, mm. burgers. It didn't really work, the grating. It's gone back to lumps. Because, of course, you guys, anyone who's been on the uh, vlog, you'll remember when we did Nando's, we went full Portuguese music. You just come up to the white, a white desk like this, and then you go and sit at a table, don't you? Yeah, and I stand there. Normally, I have a, oh, I have a baseball cap, don't I? Yeah. I need a baseball cap. Be nice if I had a sort of red baseball cap, but I don't have a red baseball cap. And the only red baseball cap I can think of is Make America Great Again, and we don't want one of them, do we? So, oh, why don't I put on one of these? There we go. If you ask Kiki if she has a double side burger, does she have a double burger? Kiki, do you have a double burger or a single? Look, five guys. Single. She's not the greedy one. She's the, she's a single. She's a sensible one, unlike the rest of us. Do you like a Five Guys burger? Yeah, you love it. Do you like the do you like their? Do, I, I like the whole thing with all the kind of sacks of spuds and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And it's that sort of it's that vogue now, isn't it, for seeing the inner workings of a business rather than hiding it all. You just yeah. showcase all of your raw produce and you just see all of the waiters. And in America, they do this thing where they all shout at each other in the back of the, in the kitchen. It's really cool. Oh look, it's all changed over here, turning around. The butter idea didn't really work. So yeah, I want it nice slightly idea, bigger than the oh, bun because the good. bun shrinks. And is that heating up? Yeah. I don't know why, I always want to put my hand in there. What would happen when it's hot? What would happen if I put my hand in it? It would melt. Would it? Yes. Would completely melt. So Are my childish questions case. annoying you? No. I'm lost in the center of a scented rose. Guys, you must be able to smell that. It is smelly. Smelly and luscious and beautiful and was just hidden behind the apple tree. But meanwhile, more attractive. There's Mr. Waller off the telly over there, look. Say hello. 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 So they soaked, loads of starch came out. Did it? Did you see the starch? So now the really important thing, guys, if you're doing your chips this way, is you must dry them. 
Hey, look, Elon Musk is sending a rocket to space. We haven't got enough on our mind. I know. God's Imagine sake. being in a it's state of irrelevant. mind where you you think this is important. You know what I mean? It's going to be such a rarefied headspace. Elon Musk, whose child is called A. Check act Ik. Do you know that? Mm. It's called Ik. I think it's spelled. It's like the artist formerly known as Prince. That's the name of his child. Try saying it. Come here. What are you talking about? Elon Musk and Grimes' child is called. Who's Grimes? Grimes is a singer. Come on, baby. Elon Musk is like. He's him. one of the tech impresario billionaires of the I planet. Don't care about him. Well, I don't care about okay, him. So but he has a child called. Just gonna put, so you don't want to put too many at one time. And don't forget, we're just doing an initial cook. Right? So yeah. they're going in. And they're going to cook for about four minutes at 150. And then we take them out, put them here. This is exactly how they do in the fire. Is it? And apparently you have Double to fry. shake them 15 times when they're finished. Oh, you hear them doing it. You see them shaking it. Yeah, to get every bit boiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shake, so shake, then I've shake. got some, some of this very, very salt. Oh, they put so much of it in the back. So at the bottom, it's just heavenly. Look in the bottom of there, guys. Just imagine. Five guys. Yeah, so what they do is they fill the cup. And then they, I was watching them actually. Yeah, they have so longer they, cups. They have a measuring thing and it oh, way overfills. Yeah. So they pour into whatever they can get into the cup and then everything else so that you always get loose chips in the bottom. I love that little detail. I love that detail too. It's a psychological, it makes you having spent 54 quid on three burgers not feel so bad. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? It makes you feel better. Tell us the story of your friend at work who did five guys but she had a different name for it. I like that. Yeah, our producer at work did this. She made a five guys because she was desperate, uh, but she called it one girl. I like that, that's sweet. Was she sad when she ate it? No, she said it was bloody brilliant. She wasn't oh, right. sad at all. All right, did she not want, it. Did she want four guys with her? I don't think so. Mm. She got married, she got married to him next day. Mm. Maybe he's a vegetarian, I don't know. <laughs> These should be really nice and crisp, fluffy in the middle. Baked potato, tasting of baked potato in the middle and crisp on the outside. I think you're singing the song then. Did I tell you I got lost watching 80s adverts the other night alongside you? I was going to be all amorous and then I just got totally distracted with the top 20 adverts of the 1980s. Oh, yeah, great, I and I left your shoulder alone. So the girls should come down soon because they have to wait for ages. They have to order it and then they have to wait. Obviously. Shitting hell. Okay, so... We're here. They're supposed to be here when I've got the burger. All right, we need our... We need our guests. Maddie, yeah. you nearly ready to go to five guys? Yeah. yeah. There's a bit of a queue developing. Get the ambience right. <laughs> Kiki, are you nearly ready to go to five guys? There's a bit of a queue developing. <laughs> Thing is, there's no queue at all because it's here. <laughs> So I reckon at that width, at that thickness, about five minutes for the first cooking. I'm going to put more in next time. Okay. Very exciting. Oh, this bit is really exciting. Look at the bags. Nad, Nads, I've had an idea for authenticity. You have to go and queue outside, please. And remember, please observe social distancing whilst queuing. Yeah, all right. I don't reckon they've got enough money on their cards to pay for this. Huh? I don't think they've got enough money on their cards to pay for this. It's a 14 quid of just peanut oil. Can I just have a little? No. I wouldn't do that in the restaurant, would you? I would. That's probably why I'd get fired. Stricken. What do I do? Just look at it. Yeah. What am I, what, what? Oh my god. I feel like I should take it out. I feel like it's causing all sorts of problems. This condensation. I've 
so much gardening today, I've really cricked my neck. I've got a crick in my neck. I really feel like I need to take them out. I feel like I'm being called to take them out. Uh, she was shaking them, wasn't she? You do the shake and back and bring the freshness back. Do the shake and back and bring the freshness back. If you touch anything, she gets really cold. Cool. Uh, they're good. I've shaken them. Okay. I like your outfit. What is it? It's from Amazon, it's so cool. You look like a fruit bat. <laughs> That's what, down. that's what fruit bats do when they fly. They have almost outfits like that and they fly around, glide on them. It's like seeing a fox in the air, a fruit bat. It really is. I'm just going to go and see if there's anyone queuing up and observing the social distancing markers that I'm about to put out. Right. I'm going to put these to observe the social distancing. So, that one. So if they're not from the same uh, house, they're gonna have to stand with two, oh, hey up, you don't do that in five guys. How do you, you know? You said I couldn't touch your bottom. Well. Uh, so we're gonna have a, you all right there, Toffs? You're observing social distancing, is that right? Two meters away from the chips. Just keeping your eye, just keeping your, keeping your arm in, aren't you, just in case. Cheers, Toffs. Oh, that 7-Up really does take me back to childhood holidays. 7-Up? Mm. Doesn't it? Toffee, do you want a vodka? Right, so I've even got American tin foil. What defines American tin foil? But it's much thicker. Reynolds, have you ever heard of it? American. Mm. You have to wrap the burger in foil. It's the only burger place that does it. Success. And you've got the burger and mm, mm, mm. okay. tin foil reminds me of making spaceships when I was a little boy. I used to love making spaceships. And then we'd throw them in the sky and hope that they reached the moon, but they never did. I like playing restaurants. I take it very seriously. I was going to say, I felt like I had more fun with you last time. It's very, very important, the five guys, that the buns are toasted. Yeah, that will be there. There's no laughing matter, this. Very important. Depends what restaurant you're in there, doesn't it? Welcome, it's going to be a whole different ball game. Oh, yes. That's what it's going to look like. That's it. Oh, yeah. That's what the Five Guys bun looks like. Might give that one a bit more. Something. Close to a miracle. Just to pre-warn you girls, there are social distancing measures as you queue. Okay? So don't trip over them because it could be quite painful on the toe. Okay. Observe the social distancing, please. Challenging times require challenging solutions. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you put one of my socks on. I know. Now, as you know, the deal is at Five Guys is they're a little bit moody, the staff. Are they? They're never particularly chatty. No, they're not. They're the most vibrant. Are they? Yeah. All right, I'll be vibrant instead. Please come in. Watch the mop. We've only just opened after lockdown. Oh. So do you want to come and make your order? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what you want? Yeah. Oh, sorry about I that. I have the, the, um, the double cheeseburger. Double cheeseburger? Yeah. Um, do you want mayonnaise. anything on it? Like mayo, yeah. Lettuce. No thanks. Chips. And can I have the spicy chips? Okay. No, single ha hamburger. Single cheeseburger. Single cheeseburger. 
Nothing on it. No, no condiments, no, no additionals, no mayo. no mayo, no lettuce. With some chips. With some chips. Do you want any drinks? Spicy chips. Drinks? Yes. Soft drinks? Soft drinks, yeah. Spicy chips. Okay, let me give you... We, you're all right. Yeah. Gonna give them their cups. You know where the drink dispenser is, don't you? It's down the end there. Yeah? You. There's your cups. Thanks. Give the dispenser. Hang on, oh, hang on. That'll be 67 pounds, please. <laughs> you open them and then you press, and you press my nose. It's so purple. Mm -hmm. Wait, just Call out your number. Thank you. It's number, it's number one. What's going on? They want a double cheeseburger, a single cheeseburger. Look at that. Spicy fries. Hey, yeah, we. Hey. 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 Hey, cheese, break. Hey. Cheese. Chips, chips. Hey. 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 Very quiet in here tonight, I know, because no one's out in central London, so you're the only customers we've had all night. That's why you're number one and you're only one. Hey, 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 hey. Is it tasty? Yeah. Tasty, tasty, very good. It's by the same people as the ginger bit. They're very excited about the excess chips in the bags. Okay. Turn the heat up. Turning the heat up. The heat is on. The heat is on. The heat is on. Turn it, turn it, turn it. It's turning on. The heat is on. Be de 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 be de 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 de. Woo hoo. Gonna be sticky. Okay. The cheese has gone sticky. What are we gonna do? So excited, 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 so that's the, that's the cook stop. And so all I get to be is a... The cheese goes on in a very specific way too. That means all I am is a drink dispenser. Yes. I'm becoming typecast. You can only just pull out the number. You can do the chips if you want. And the bag. You can put the chips into the cart and then into the bag. Can I sprinkle the salt? Yeah. I'm happy. You know you're going to sprinkle it though, are you? I, yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Don't worry about it, baby. I ain't gonna sprinkle no shit. I'm gonna chuck it on. Very. She's flipping the patties. Sounds like a. Uh, do you want this? Do you want blue cheese? Yes, please. Although, is that strictly right? Is that strictly right? No, okay, let me stick with those. I'll stick with those. No, okay, no. You messed up the whole thing while doing that. I was trying to break the illusion. It's oh, just... Of course I can. Are you saying stop dicking about and sort this shit out for me? Got to be bold, Mr. Wilder. Got to be bold. Can't find it. Yeah. 
This is Kiki's. She just wants a cheeseburger. Whoop. Oh, it's exactly like it. It's exactly like it. Ooh. You put the lid on. Ooh. Quite tight, isn't it, when they do it? Yeah, right over. Right over. Tight. Tight. Oh. Hey. What they do at five days, five days, five days. Okay, so that's Kiki's. Chips. Okay. So, first chips, Kiki's. Okay. Why, thank you. Yes. 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 Number one! Show us your receipt. Show us your receipt. Yeah, Alright. Enjoy! Well, this is yours. Put your cheese on. This one. <laughs> The what? Oh, the what? She needs peri peri salt. <laughs> <laughs> it's peri peri salt, isn't it? Hang on. Come on. Oh. Yours is nearly ready, number two. All the twos, number two. Are you socially distancing or do you live together? Live yes, together. Okay. Oh, you've forgotten which is which. This is the That's oh, oh, it looks just like it. When you open it, it looks just like it. It looks just, sorry, I'm really quite surprised. It looks just like it. Oh. What have you done? Has that sort of congealed, sticky, kind of glossy yeah. thing. It's really nice. I'm stupidly excited. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. I need the peri peri. <laughs> you done it? Okay. She's really hungry. She's a bit moody. She's a little bit moody. She's a little bit hungry. She wants to put the very berry on herself. One of those. One of those, yeah. Oh, I forgot the number. Oh! I'll take them to the table. I'll take them. Take them. Oh. She likes quite a lot of the bottom of the bag, this one. She's looking at us, she's giving us the demon eyes. Hey! 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 Number two. Good receipt. Oh, there you go. Enjoy. If you need any more drinks, the dispense. I'm just going to fill up the dispenser again. Okay. Oh, look. 
Okay, baby, there's yours. Thank you. Number three. Enjoy. How is it? It's just like that's it. I've just realised I've got to do something. And the bag of chips. <laughs> right, we need the we need we need the decision from Maddie on the chips. Do you need a photo? Yeah, we will do. What do you reckon? Good. I put so much work into them. Very good. I got the right potatoes. I did all the research. I soaked them. I triple fried them. I got peanut oil, which wasn't easy. Look! What do you think? Oh my god, look at that! Oh, oh I, want to, I want to see you eat it. Oh, and take a photo squishy. of it. Can we take a photo of it looking like that? Just put it on its tin foil for a minute. It looks so like a burger. Oh, that really does. Can't look tell like you can't be doing this to a girl on her period. <laughs> you really can't be doing this to a girl on her period. <laughs> Why don't you pick her? <laughs> oh. oh. Judgment. So you could do better than Nando's and better than five. That only costs 78 quid in peanut oil. I'm not kidding, I don't know how much it costs in peanut oil. Really? Oh, really? oh look at the edge, look! It's got the edging. God, I'm so glad I watched all those YouTube videos because I might not have wrapped it in foil, but it's everything in the foil. And one of the perks of working here is you get to get your own food for free. If please. Okay. You're right, I've seen it happen to the girls, but this is the moment where the true judgment lies. You open it up and it looks, it looks, oh, that's how they come out. It's, the, it, it's a condensation thing that kicks in, isn't it? And how's the actual beef? Because you're not supposed to put anything in the beef, just salt it when it's frying. Oh my god. I, I did a little trick. I grated some butter into the meat to make it really juicy. Oh my god. I did it. Maybe five guys could learn from me. Five guys, yeah, but they'll charge another 10 quid. Mm. Oh. Oh. That's what they're doing. Oh, I'm really pleased. Is that yeah. a nice treat? Really nice. Mm. Oh. Oh my god. Wow, Kiki never eats quick. anything fast. They're really good. Oh, honestly, I'm so chuffed. I've been thinking about mm. this. Mm. I've been researching it. I so wanted to get it just right. Yeah, perfect. So good. So good. I haven't had time to breathe. Oh. Mm. You want it again next week? Yeah. Should we make this a Saturday night thing? Mm. Oh my god. Five Guys is done, my lips sting, we're just having the last of the grape soda and I'm very excited that Elon Musk has fired a rocket into space. I get excited about that stuff. Would you go to Mars if you could? No. I would. I would. If I was a really old man and they, I knew I was going to sort of like be really annoying. Yeah, I'd like to go up to Mars. Send me to Mars if I'm really old. I'd like that.